Right guys, the latest tool purchase for me is the DeWalt Compact Circular Saw, or Mini Circular Saw, should I say. Uh, the model number is DCS571N. I mean, this is not a detailed review, guys. It's just making you aware that this is available if you haven't seen it before. I'll run through some of the points on it, obviously. So it's 18 volt. It's brushless. It's a 115 millimeter blade or four and a half inch. So you've got your depth gauge here. Yeah, so you've got your depth adjuster here, obviously. Just undo that, and that, that I'll show you just now. You can move that up and down. Gives you your depth. The front there, we've got the, the angle. You can obviously tilt this. I don't know if you can see that, but you can. Obviously cut up to 45 degrees with it. Blade change, there's a Allen key incorporated into the handle, which is there. So it's just a standard four or five millimeter Allen wrench for undoing this. Uh, a small hook here for hooking onto, in my case, probably fences, or if you're framing, you know, you could probably just hang on to, you know, joists or uh, framing material. Yeah, the tool also comes with dust extraction, which is basically a push-on attachment here. It's just a friction fit, so you just push it on, and then you would obviously attach your, your vacuum or whatever you're using uh, off of here. Uh, there's also a guide supplied with the tool. So Yeah, so you've got a standard little guide here, um, you know, as with all circular saws. I would probably use this quite a lot, to be honest. I'll, de I'll demonstrate me using this, ripping down a fence board or something. Uh, and some clips coming up. But that's pretty much it, guys. Obviously, you can use it two-handed. You've got a handle here as well. Yeah, so obviously, the, the types of materials that you would cut with this is, you know, the thin plywood, fencing boards, floorboards, I think this would be excellent for. You know, you could use it as a plunge cutting saw. You know, like that, just plunge it down, you know, cut your floorboards out, plumbers, electricians. Another thing, you could change the, the, the blade, you know, for a, you know, a diamond blade, cut hardy backer board such as this, for tiling. Uh, there's a multitude of uses, really. Okay, so for me, the, one of the, the main reasons, or if not the main reason, I bought this is due to the safe one-handed operation. You know, this is, you know, it's fairly light, really manoeuvrable, uh, just... You know, just switch it on and away you go. Compared to the, the normal circular saw, you can see the size difference and you can feel the weight difference uh, immediately with this. It feels a lot safer. It feels a lot more intricate. Um, I've been eyeing this up for a, a good long time now and just decided to buy it. On the back of, I was doing a fencing job last week. And I really could have done with this. I was using this, my normal grinder, with this blade on, but it's just so dangerous with this blade on uh, that I just decided to go for this. And honestly, what a difference. This thing is just awesome, in my opinion. Okay, so the job in question I had last week uh, that I needed this was a horizontal hitting this fence. So what, so what I was doing was laying the boards across the fence posts and they needed to be, you know, cut down the centre of the post. Instead of, you know, intricately measuring them and cutting them to size, I always sit them in place and then cut them. I own situ, you get a better cut that way. Yeah, I obviously have the large uh, DeWalt circular saw. You know, this is my usual usual saw here. The problem with this is it's just so heavy and bulky. You know, if I'm honest, this saw I don't I don't particularly like using get big circular saws. It's just something intimidating about them, you know. And they're quite difficult to to see what you're cutting. You know, awkward at times. So the first initial thing I, I notice with this is just the manoeuvrability of it. It's just so light, well balanced. Yeah, I honestly think I'll use this probably 90% of the time now, instead of my large circular saw. One of the great things about this is the visibility, you know, the cut line. You know, there's your, your mark there. You know, you've got good visibility. I'm right-handed, so I'm looking down on this blade here. You know, can cut no problem with that. One-handed, you know, safely. Whereas this, the visibility is quite difficult. 
you know, the blades are weighing there. I'm right-handed. You've got all this gubbins here, you know, trying to cut. For me, this is a definite winner. Yeah, so I'll say it again. The main reason for this, once you pick this up and just throw it about with your hand, and that is what a marked difference it is compared to using a, a, a large circular saw. Um, I myself, I don't have a table saw, so I, I do tend to use my, my large circular saw you know, for ripping down material, uh, using a, a track guide. This will perform equally well. I don't do anything too heavy, you know, so, you know, small sheet material, fence boards, things like that. This, this is this is going to be ideal. Yeah, it's obviously the 18 volt range, so, I mean, I've got a 5 amp, amp hour battery on there, but alternatively, you could use, you could use the big uh, flex volt batteries. Yeah, I, I do have a DeWalt grinder, as I've shown before, uh, like this, and it does chew through the, the juice a bit, you know, so... This is a 9 amp hour flex volt battery. The only thing with that is it does add a fair bit of weight, you know, so I would only use that if I was doing sort of long sheet material sort of stuff. Okay, so I'll switch this back to a 5 amp hour battery, which probably most people have got as opposed to the flex volt, and we'll do some cuts with it and, and see how it goes. Hey right, guys, just a typical one handed cut. This is wet wall uh, panel. We'll cut here, we'll see how we get on. I mean, that cuts like butter, that, and you can see, importantly, there's absolutely no chipping along there. So you can see the edge there, if it focuses. Absolutely no chipping of the laminate, so that's that's ideal, that. So the saw will be fantastic for cutting wet wall panel. Okay, so this is still the wet wall panel. We'll try a plunge cut here. Obviously a plunge cut can be done on flooring or anything, but... Yeah, so... We'll try that. That's the first cut done, but the immediate, the apparent thing with this straight away is the, the control you've got there. So we'll do the next line now. And the other two, and that should be it. That's it done, rough and ready. <laughs> We'll see what that's like on the other side. Yeah, so you can see how easy that is. It works a treat. Um, that would be especially useful, you know, on floorboards, plumbers, you know, heating engineers, cutting into floors, you know, for access to pipes or whatever. Electricians, exactly the same. Probably this wet wall panel, you know, for shower fittings or anything, just cut out like that quickly. Ideal. As I've said, it's just so easy to use. It's so nimble. Uh, just a lot better than using a huge, you know, great big circular saw. Okay, standard fence boards now. Not much of a challenge, but we'll just show you how quickly they zip through these. I mean, there's nothing to say there. It's just it's quick, easy, accurate. Okay, so we'll rip this fence board down now. Uh, I'll use the guide, rip a couple inches off the edge all the way down. Um, these are sacrificial bits of timber here on my trestles, so just cut right through those and see how it performs. I guess the important thing there is, is just the ability to do it one-handed, as I hopefully de demonstrated there. It's so light, so easy, you just zip right along it. Really safe, you know, because of all the guards. Uh, just ideal. Right guys, these are standard fence rails now, so, so again, we'll just adjust the depth. That's it fully down. Lock it off. And we'll proceed to cut now. Okay, so you can see not a problem. Right guys, we'll try the angled feature now. So we'll set the we'll set the blade to 45 degrees. It's all right, hopefully you can see that. You see the 45 degree cut there. I mean, I think when you, obviously adjusting that, it lessens the, the thickness of material you can cut through. So you're probably looking about an inch um, that we'd get. But for fence boards or trim, you know, baseboards, architraves, yeah, it would be all right. Right guys, that's it for me. Uh, not a detailed review by any means, but hopefully it's given you an overview of the, the tool. Uh, I will leave links in the description to it if anybody's interested, and the blades. Uh, but I would certainly recommend it from what I've used it so far. 
yeah, I can just tell this is going to be a great companion of mine. Uh, I can just tell I'm going to use this a lot more than my, my main circular saw, which I will obviously still use for the thicker sheet material. Uh, but this this is going to be my mainstay, I think. This is going to be a, a fantastic addition. All right, guys, well, thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a, a big thumbs up if you can. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button there if you're new here. And to my current subscribers, as always, thank you very much. Um, and hopefully you'll join us for the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Cheers.